I guess just with the offense today, what do you think was kind of going wrong and, and the struggles you guys had? Well, I, I, I think that uh, I think Texas Tech was the biggest problem we had offensively. I thought that, you know, I thought they did a lot of good things defensively. I didn't think we uh, protected consistently. I just didn't think we were a consistent team. You know, we didn't uh, get out of the blocks particularly well. We never got in a rhythm, and I thought Texas Tech did a great job uh, keeping us out of rhythm. I thought they beat us on all sides of the ball, coaching starting with me, offense, defense, and special teams. And they do deserve credit, I mean, you know, for um, preparing the way they did and playing the way they did. Coach, you had a chance there to take a lead, I guess, the first drive of the third quarter. What, what did you see there? What do you feel like went wrong? And you thought they were ready to go at halftime? Uh, yeah, I thought we were. We started moving the ball. I can't remember in detail. Um, you, you know, what he, I, I can't remember what exactly. There were a lot of drives. But, you know, we did come out. We got a couple first downs. We didn't finish the drive. And, uh, you know, we just, we just didn't finish. I think we tried to I think there's kind of a tipping point where, you know, because we're a highly motivated group. We really want to prepare. We really want to be good. We really want to get better. And then, uh, so then we overtrial. We try to make too much happen. And there's a point where you just have to not get too high on big plays and not uh, too low on bad plays and just settle in and get plays just to kind of make it a pattern. I didn't think we did a very good job. Mississippi State had quite a lot of absences today. Uh, how difficult does that make things? Maybe mostly on the defense, just with how many key starters they had out. Well, we had two starting old linemen um, play um, today. Uh, I don't know. I lost track. I lost track of all of them. You know, you, you you probably looked at all the numbers and stuff, but uh, there was a point where I lost track of all the guys that weren't there. Were there any discussions or consideration of, of not playing because of the absences? I know we saw other teams pull out of, pull out of bowls because of a lot of players being out. Yeah, I don't like that very much. Uh, you know, I think you try to play if you can, no matter what, because, uh, you know, it's an opportunity to improve. And, then, and there's a lot of guys that get to go out there and have game experience with certainly the bowl experience, you know, that I think is uh, something special. And so, um, I didn't want to pull out if uh, there was any way that we could play. You know, I mean, uh, we started uh, losing a couple guys, but I didn't. I didn't want to pull out of it. You know, I didn't. I didn't you'll have to let me know what the number was because, like I say, somewhere in the middle of the week, I lost track. Mike, uh, how does a game like tonight kind of affect momentum heading into an off season after a uh, successful year, obviously, of what you guys were able to do from year two to year one? Does that play any role into kind of off-season momentum at all? Uh, you know, I think we have to address it. I think we have to address it. But the thing is, is together we all have to make the decision that uh, we're going to have a great off-season and that we're going to uh, work harder than ever. If anything, it should draw a uh, focus on way to improve because we're only a few – you know, we're only a few plays away from winning ten games this year, and um, you know we've got to we've got to get that precision and uh, things that will allow us to do that, and then plus just get better overall. Period. And does your does your history with Texas Tech kind of impact how you feel about the outcome of this game at all? Well, I was, I was you know I was proud to I was proud to see uh, not part of me was proud to see Texas Tech play well, but any team that goes out and plays well. I mean, I'm kind of excited that, you know, that they're, you know, you, you kind of admire the artistry of what somebody's doing. I mean, it's a little tough to get your ass kicked to do all that, but, you know, as somebody goes out there and plays really well, it's hard to <clears throat> dismiss and not appreciate it. And most of those coaches that got fired over there, I, I know them and uh, coached them. So, you know, I mean, there's a part of me that was happy for them. I mean, you know, all the other stuff that's been stated. I mean, it doesn't change any of the facts on that. I mean, um, so, uh, but, uh, 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 you know, the, uh, you know, the, I, was, I was happy to see uh, people that I know do well, but, 
you know, certainly we wanted to go in there and play really well this game. And we wanted to win this game, and we wanted to uh, play well enough to do it convincingly. 